What's good, y'all? Welcome to the Quick Lab, where I show you guys quick tips and tricks on the things that I use in my production process. Welcome to episode two. I know I told you guys I was going to break down the machine a little bit more, but something's wrong with the controller. Can't get it to work with Pro Tools. Can't get it to work with the computer. Can't find the disc. So we're just going to stick to doing it in Pro Tools, and I'll even explain a little bit in FL Studio. So episode two. Let's go. rundown of what we're going to do today. I'm going to take what we learned last week and then I'm going to show you how to chop up the sample so that you can play it on the keyboard like you know so you can kind of sample things over and over again if you don't have like a machine or anything like that. I can show you how to do it in Pro Tools. I can't really show you how to do it in like FL Studio but I can explain that and I'll explain that a little later. Alright so I'm gonna show you right here what we have um, here's a sample that I have taken already. So, if you want this to loop, you have to select it. Um, somebody asked this in Pro Tools. You select it, right click here, and just hit loop. So when you play it, it just loops over and over again, as long as it's highlighted. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to chop it up. I want each key to play one section. So for instance, I want, you know, middle C to play, you know, I just want it to play that. So in order to do that, I'll show you how to do it real quick using uh, Structure Free, which is a free plugin that comes with Pro Tools. First thing you need to do is you need to go to your grid and uh, have it, because I want it to play in like whole notes, I'm going to set it to one bar, the grid to be one bar, so that separates, you know, where I would want to actually push the key down to move on to the next section. So I'll break it down like that to whole notes, select the entire thing, go up to edit, separate region on the grid. I don't want any millisecond return, so I click OK. And so, you know, it sliced everything that was in the sample in whole notes, because I determined that up here. Now I can I can break it down further, and it'll it'll chop up anything I want like that. So, then I'm gonna go over to my instruments, select my instrument, which is uh, or my plugin which will be structure free. I'll bring it over here. And so I want to get rid of this. So click, right click on that, hit remove patch. And then I'm going to highlight my sample over here and click and drag it into this open area. When I do that, you will get this window that pops up it says import samples as new part so it takes everything all the chops and separates them and it asks me how do I want to map them I want to map them chromatically starting from middle C or you can go down you can start wherever you want you know I'm gonna start it from middle C then click OK and you'll notice down here that it has all of these areas highlighted that has that has a uh, open sample now, in the regular version of structure, you can go in and you know edit the wave, edit each wave, and you know you can do a lot more. But just with the free, this is all we really need it for. So now, everything is uh, mapped out in these keys right here. So now that we have that mapped out, say I want to go ahead and use this as MIDI, you know, so I can chop it up the way I want to. I'm going to mute this track, come down here, and the easy thing to do is to go to Event, uh, Event Operations, and then 
step input. And what that's going to do is um, literally all you have to do is just hit each button once and it'll play for the allotted time that it's supposed to play right on key or right on time should I say. I'm going to go ahead and select the whole notes since I my grid was set for whole notes and I separate everything out in whole notes. Start back at the beginning and literally all you have to do is hit each button one time. And you see how it mapped everything out here. I'll show you again from a different view what I did. So I have this selected and I So I muted this track and here's what it sounds like now. So the step input makes it a lot easier so you don't have to, you know, you can get the timing dead on if you want it to be that way. And then also I can go into the editor and you know, move some of these events around. So I can do something like that. Start from the beginning. Right there. Or you can do it however you want it in the MIDI editor. So you can do something like. Uh oh. I'm going to have to come back to that one. But anyways, so that's how you would do that. Now in FL Studio, what you would do is you could, you know, import your sample into something like Adobe Audition or Audacity, Audacity is free, or even like Cool Edit Pro. Edit your sample down to what you want it to look like, like it does here, here in this, in this area. And also you can determine there how you want to chop it up. And then what you would do is you would take all those samples that you have saved in one of those programs, open up FL Studio, and import the wave into uh, your little timeline. I, I don't know exactly what it's called in FL Studio. And then you would just select Piano Roll, change the setting to Piano Roll, and then you can use a Piano Roll, you know, however you want to map out uh, the sample in FL Studio. In Structure Free, what you can also do is pitch the sample. So I was how I was telling you before, where you can just use the the, the RPM speed change to you know speed up the sample on on the record. You can actually do it here, or fine tune it, and turn it up, or I'll just show you. Um, I'll use this option here. So now the timing's a little bit off because it sped it up some more, but let me just turn it So see how I turn it all the way up, you know, I can fine-tune the pitch there. So I can tune it to however you want, or I can slow it down. So that's where uh, somebody mentioned that to me. So you could do that also there. You don't have to necessarily pitch your instruments or, or you know pitch the sample here. You can you can do it however you want to do it in Structure Free or any other program mapping program that allows you to take uh, wave samples and input them and map them onto you know a keyboard. So it makes it a little bit easier in that way. There's all kinds of ways to do this stuff. I'm just showing you some of the ways that I would do it. I don't typically sample this way. I use the machine, but I probably will until I can find my CD. So yeah, that's quick tip episode number two. Uh, next week I'll be talking about, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I might, hopefully by then I can find the disc I need for my machine. And then I can break down the machine a little bit uh, to show you how I sample in that. Because I know a lot of people are starting to use machine and integrate machine more uh, into the production process. So. I'll break that down next week and uh, hopefully I can hopefully I can do that. We'll see what happens. Until then, see y'all later. I'm out.